Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Um, I just wanted to come on and do a quick share with everybody today. If you've been crafting along with um, me, we made scrappy paper out of our scraps. And then um, I took those scraps and altered um, some Rolodex cards. And so then I seen it to be only fitting to make a Rolodex card holder. So um, these are the two here. But um, <clears throat> this one is all coordinating. So I used the one sheet of paper and um, was able to get the different looks. So let me hold this up there so you can see it. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then um, this just becomes a journaling tag here. And then they slide in it's a little holder so I will show you how I made that right quick so it started out um, as one big long envelope so hopefully like that and then I cut it glued it and then cut open the side there for the slot and then once I determined what size envelope I wanted to use, this one I um, I used this index card because it fits there. But you could really use any um, any one that you would prefer to because I actually ended up covering the back side of this with um, coffee dyed paper. So, but I liked this size. Uh, so once I figured that out, I left the side, I wanted it a little bit narrower than the envelope because um, if you can tell, I put some tabs on and I didn't leave them out too far, but I wanted to make sure that I could slide in and out without once I added those tabs. So then this is just a piece of cardstock paper. I took a Rolodex card and place it in the center um, where I could see that I, you know, overlapped the outsides of the slots there. And then um, once I had it straight, I took the hole punch and then punched. Then I took a second card and I placed it like this, lining it up so I would know how much I wanted to overlap and then did the same thing all the way down accordingly. So once I got this paper done, then I took some of the scrappy paper, which this here is the only piece of that whole sheet that I have left, but it'll make a nice pocket or something in the book. And then I laid it over top of this, and because I already had my holes punched, I could repunch them, um, which gave me this strip here. So now this strip was covered, and then I took some um, seam binding, and then um, just extended it out as much as I wanted, and then um, frayed the ends, and then just put a little glue on the back side to hold it, so that when these are getting pulled, um, that they weren't coming out. And then once that was covered, then I took and I just embellished um, with this vintage paper here. I distressed it and then did some inking and applied it there. So now we have that done. This one was done. <clears throat> Sorry. I glued it down like so. And then that gave us this. 
where those just slide right in and right out. And then um, just kind of decorated the top of it, you know, to give it a little pretty, pretty, kind of tied it together. A um, couple of things to note. I took the Martha Stewart punch and was trimming this out. The envelopes um, with it being double papers like that did not do well. I really struggled to try to get that um, edge poked into both of those papers. And because it's not um, wide enough, I couldn't slide that in to do one layer at a time. So maybe keep that note in mind um, on however you want to decorate the top of it. So the other envelope here is the same, um, in theory, just a different top where it kind of closes. I actually, ha I have a video on how I make this type of envelope, um, if you're interested in seeing that, but this one here, the, um, using of the scrappy paper to get a really cohesive look. It all ties together with just using the scrap paper, and it was really cool. It was a fun project. So that is my share for the day. Um, hope I can inspire you guys to make your own little Rolodex holder um, coordinating whatever we want to call this. Um, thank you for subscribing, and... If you missed the tutorial or crafting with me for the Rolodex, um, it should be popping up on the screen at the very end. And I'll also put the link in the description bar if you'd like to go see that. All right, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate every one of you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, everyone.